Whilst the first cohort of recipients of government's first-generation scholarship program enter their second year of study, a fresh bunch of St. Lucians will have their families experience a first. For recipients of this initiative, they are the first in their households to pursue university-level training. The high cost and difficulties in funding offered courses mean that for many in St. Lucia, access to higher education remains a dream beyond their reach. Speaking at a recent briefing ceremony for the new cohort of first-generation scholarship recipients, Education Minister Honorable Sean Edwin said the initiative in partnership with Monroe College provides one scholarship per household, relieving families of all the financial burden. And it is against that backdrop that we are investing millions of dollars into our higher education program. We believe that students who come from families that do not have the means should not be disadvantaged. In the year 2023, your socioeconomic circumstances should not be an impediment to you realizing your educational potential. The 50 recipients will each receive full tuition for a bachelor's degree in various areas with cost met jointly by the government of St. Lucia and Monroe College. The education minister told recipients that they are indeed worthy of such self-advancement and encouraged them to make their families proud by remaining focused in order to complete the mission of attaining degree-level qualifications. Do not take this opportunity for granted. You are not called upon to pay the tuition fees. You don't have to buy your own books because you are on a full scholarship. But being on a full scholarship does not mean that this is free. It is not. The government is paying 50% of it. And Monroe College, Mr. Mark Jerome and his team, they have to find the other 50% to ensure that the package delivered to you is complete. Make the most of the opportunity. According to Monroe College President Mark Jerome, the college's involvement in the effort is crucial in addressing a persistent issue in St. Lucia. The generosity that comes from the government and from Monroe should be accompanied by a sense of responsibility from all of you. People are watching you. Your brothers and sisters are watching you. If you're a parent, your children are watching you. You see all around us there's a little breakdown in traditional values and the family. And I'm asking you, besides excelling in your academics, to do, to follow through on the values that Monroe believes in. Students from the first cohort of first generation scholarships were also on hand to provide encouragement and guidance to the incoming recipients. In order to keep their full scholarships, recipients must thrive in their chosen fields of study and maintain satisfactory academic progress. From the Communications Unit of the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, I am Chris Satney reporting.